everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. They could have been better at naming sense, but then again, we're talking about Nidhi Sanji here. They don't have any sense to begin with. They named their most recent voice pack, Farewell Voice. Uh, sales period July 12th to 31st. It has, of course, you have people here, which is great. Let's see what they actually have here. Uh, operated by any cutter. Now says Farewell Voice. Farewell Voice Packs will be available in the Sanji official store. Uh, when you purchase a key visual or voice pack from any of the livers appearing in the key visual, you receive a bonus wallpaper. That's, that's good. Each liver's voice is a thousand Japanese yen, which is somewhere around like eight bucks or so. Key visual set, Au Revoir Side, Victoria Bright Shield, English version. Midi Parfait, Japanese, uh, 33,000 yen. Bon Voyage side, Machita Chima and Yuhi Riri, which are these over here on the right. At least Victoria Bright Shield is getting some, some voice packs. Just a weird name for it, honestly. Participating EG and Livers, Aya Mare, Astro Arcadia, Albin Knox, Victoria Bright Shield, Vizalis Bandage, Medical Kyoran, Clara Charmwood, Cloud Clarmark, Sunny Briscoe, Twisty, Topio, at least they're giving they're giving some of the Noth people some stuff. Fantico Bringer, Maria Marinette, Millie Parfait, Yuki Wilson, Roma, and Luca Kanashiro. They're a uh, Japanese alphabetical order, unless otherwise noted. So yeah, they're having their moments. Just it the, the voice pack is not not a good name. Given their manipulative records, it involves ba Baby Millie. I wouldn't think too much about it. Nah, it's nothing. Just Niji lacking awareness as usual, pretty much. What do people even use farewell voice packs for? Hate to see her go, but love to watch her leave. Yeah, it's a double take. And there are no Vox, no Ike, no Uki, Luca. But Victoria, uh oh, but no, Luke is in there. You can see, I, I, I read all the people. There is actual Luke in there. Uh, Uki in there. Um, I mean, Luca in there. So yeah, it's just weird that they have it named this way. But that's Nidhi Sanji with their naming sense. A horrible naming sense. Another company that has some bad movements going on is Nori Pro, which looks like it's a Japanese-based company. All these people here, Shirayuki Mashiro, Eno Enomiya Milk. Uh, Himesaki Yuzuru, a, a lot of people have graduated. You're looking at these, all their music talents have seemed to have graduated. The second generation, all of them seem to have graduated. It's not looking good. Why is that? Let's see down below. Lilith was terminated. Warabe is sort of retired from VTubing, but I did see her floating around being credited for music video. Takuma honestly barely streams anyways. Mishiro, Yuzuru, Miruku, Shin split off and became independent. All the first gens, Mashiro, Yuzuru, Miruku, Takuma were IRL colleagues and friend of Norio before they uh, joined Nori Pro, so I don't imagine much actually happened. Momo and Kirara also split off and became independent. Honestly, I didn't hear much, only speculation that there was kind of a split off after Norio took the company into a more serious venture as creator VTuber company and opened its very first audition. Everyone before Creator's Wave were uh, what you can call scouted. And the vibe was more family business rather than a company. So when there are uh, people who disagree with the direction that a company is going, a lot of people will leave. So it may not be as bad as V Reverie uh, is doing right now. It may just be they don't like the direction that the company is going and they want more freedom. Because once you get into a hard company, like, a dark, uh, like an actual rough company, you have the issue of it becoming possible, just not fun anymore too much work, you know, not enough enjoyment, that type of thing. And that's what you don't want in the in the experience of VTubing a lot of times, because a lot of times it's just you being passionate about what you do. So the big thing going on here right now is V Reverie. If you can remember correctly, we have a lot of retirements in V Reverie. Ido has gone, Ophelia Midnight, Lyria Prisvale is gone, Akiko Sushi, Erika, Rana, Chetty, uh, Salomon, Lordette, they're all gone. The only ones that are still here are Ariel, Estella, Furi, Kamiko, and Scarlet Flameheart. Why am I even talking about them? Scarlet Flameheart is new, by the way. Uh, why am I talking about them? Right here. This is what's going on. Remember, in the past, there were lots of graduations. Some, um, we don't know the exact graduations, but there was a lot of bad things going on in the background. People are saying they're not getting paid. People are saying management was not good. You have uh, Brielle Cookie Box, who is currently a independent, who has a good manager and has been doing very well for herself. She used to be a part of this. So, um, you know, just giving you guys a bit of a rundown. Chetty, who, who you know, Real Cookie Box, who was Chetty, uh, basically was saying, you know, disagreements with management. But why am I mentioning this now? According to a former V Reverie moderator, current V Reverie talents are not being paid. This is huge, if true. And that's why I'm going directly to uh, Twitter for this. 
It says another day, another reminder that V Reverie, this is on April 11th, by the way, when things were starting to go crazy. Uh, reminder that V Reverie said this on February 27th, and they still haven't. What did they say? They said, we recognize that this is clear signal that there is a pressing need for action and improvement on our part, and we will not shy away from our responsibilities in this regard. It is therefore our intention to further improve the management of V Reverie moving forward and make continuous internal adjustments and significant changes along the way so as to ensure that our gratitude and appreciation towards every single one of our talents can be seen and felt. As this matter is so vitally important, this will not be an instantaneous process, and we appreciate everyone's patience as we forge a better move forward. This was as a lot of people were graduating, and this was looking very bad on them, and they were saying they were going to fix things because a lot of issues popped up in the graduations. People mentioned it as reasons for graduating, but here's the things that they had on April 11th. They didn't. They never finished mer shipping their merch in December. They never. They haven't. Rem they have removed merch download links from people who paid them. They have not communicated on any of the issues that were brought up. They're not paid. They have not paid graduated talents as of April. Let's take a look at the current time update. They still haven't finished shipping December merch. Only reply to questions about merch when the, sh the people threaten a chargeback, which is not a mark of a good company. Still no download links for merch you paid for. You don't communicate with the community or the talents, so there's no communication. And finally, they aren't paying their current talents. Why is this person to be believed? This person has direct contact with a lot of former talents and current talents. They are someone who is a friend of many and has been manager in the past and all that kind of stuff from what I understand. So they have the the know-how of how everything's happened. Hey, every, every live, F you, pay your talents. What made them like this? I feel like some of it could have been avoided, like talking to the talents and paying them, and why is there no stuff to download? They removed non-expiring links for voice packs, wallpapers, or for the graduated talents. Uh, not warning or announcing it, but it's just like removing it, basically. It's like people paid for that stuff, and it says in the email, non-expiring. Don't forget uh, how many have gone completely MIA for several months now. Yep, no official response for fans. Two fans to the February Discord stuff. Apparently now even their own talents get no response from them. It's just really, really bad stuff. And uh, the source, they've been following v Reverie situation since December, the tip of the iceberg. They still don't have any details about what exactly is going on, but the company did some awful stuff to, for their eight of the nine talents to graduate, at least uh, until their recent uh, generation. Also hearing some really suspicious stuff on the PLs of the remaining talents. Uh, Shivia is still moderating a uh, former v Reverie talent. Uh, I have... To find Reno's independent life account, the, the you know PL account, but since she's Chinese, it might be difficult. We'll have to take this with a grain of salt. Of course, always take it with a grain of salt, but this is someone that has a little bit more knowledge. Multiple former v Reverie moderators are present in False ID's Discord. When someone else made the same claim a few days ago in the v Reverie thread, they did not deny that claim. And v Reverie talents are still friends with former talents. Confirmation in my eyes. Uh, v Reverie did not dox their talents. The mods out of five out of the eight with Seven being able to do so, pulled a Doki Bird mod revolt and pointed out in chat on the Discord what the new indie talents were. I covered that as well. Also, I was told that Nya Nyanami, Ruru, and Rumi recently mentioned they'll never got their donation money, their donathon money. And um, just doesn't change a lot of the agency situation. It's just mentioning more stuff going on. Uh, no Dino, she still mods for several ex reverie talents, including the mom of one of them. Very protective of them too. Doesn't really uh, exactly surprise me that they have access to this kind of info. Don't expect to hear anything from the talents themselves because, you know, corporate stuff. Um, they pretty much all really said they don't like people doing so little as referencing inside jokes from their time in Reverie. So only take her word for it. Yeah, and don't bug the current talents and be like, oh, I heard this thing about Reverie. Is it true? Don't bug the current talents about this kind of stuff, in my opinion. <clears throat> Here we go, the sisters, the NDF, whatever you want to call them. They're on their attack as they always have been. They're on the attack now, they've always has been. Uh, sisters think CEO doesn't affect the way the company as a whole and shouldn't be praised for what they've done. Now, what is this against? This is against Yago. You know why CEOs like Yago, Sakana, Gunrun are respected by so many people inside and outside the VTuber community? Because they're passionate and dedicated about their job. They have vision and they all want to make a VTuber become worldwide, which Yago has done, has done for now. They always take care of their livers, their community, and always make the best effort to make their livers as important as possible. They know how to handle the situation professionally, and that's why we praise them, not because they're famous, but because they're nice, or at least they, they put out this, this appearance of being nice because no one has ever said anything negative about Yago. You know, none of the people under him are like, oh, he's a horrible boss, or oh my god, this or that. And now, moving on to Rico. What does he care about? Money, money, and more money and play buttons. Doesn't even care about the companies like 9, nine out of 10 times. Posting some pictures and dip out for months, 
won't do S on the reputation. He doesn't put himself out there enough. Other companies do. He doesn't. CEO makes a major role in making in and improving the company. And the CEO reflects the company. I hope Riku can do a better job out there. I mean, he probably won't because as long as he gets money, he really doesn't care. It doesn't seem like at least. Also, the sister using zero instead of O in, to make people search. That make it so people can't search for Hololive and Doki Bird and find their tweet is a childish move. They have the gall to harass people online, but can't handle the hate they will get, which is so funny to me. Of course, redacted, which is the best way it would be, because that way people don't accuse anyone like myself or anyone else of sending harassment their way. One thing they're saying, I find it funny that Niti's aunties always try to use the CEO as a gotcha, but as a community, we don't care about them if it's hollow fans who love and worship their CEO. This video's from AX are crazy to me. That's a millionaire CEO. Why are you chanting his name and trying to get a selfie? This seems more like jealousy. It seems more like, why isn't our CEO like this? Why aren't you guys, you know, showing all this love to our CEO? That's what it seems like more than anything. I don't really care if you like Hollow and want to pick with him. I just want some Hollow. I know he's active in the community and cool, but don't use the CEO of Niji as some gotcha against fans who don't care about him. When Niji people say they're only here for the livers, they mean it. So it's like they're trying to give some kind of false equivalency and also trying to be like, we're better than you, some holier than thou type of thing from a ivory tower or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's just bad. They didn't know it's illegal to call millionaires by name and take selfies. When Niji people say they only here for livers, they mean it. Guess that's why they keep losing their S whenever people criticize Niji, not the livers, but the company, and turn on every single liver who leaves, be it graduation or termination. That's how much they love the livers, obviously. They forget about the apology to the investors video. They forget about everything. They have a very short memory. Here is a lol cow. If everyone knows what a lol cow is, this is a lol cow. Ethan Ralph is trying to also uh, piggyback off of the VTuber successes that have been happening lately. He is just someone who's trying to rage bait. It's pretty much the best way I can explain it. Ethan Ralph is upset that Hololive collab with the Dodgers. He should be more worried about his legal problems and scandals, but who am I to tell him what his priorities should be? I hope he doesn't try another attempt at a harassment campaign like he did with Cali. A disgrace to the national pastime. Imagine coming home from World War II to draw a ball game only to be told this is what it would turn into. I am pretty sure zero veterans have an issue with this. Because guess what? People are still enjoying uh, the pastime. They're still enjoying the Dodgers. They're still enjoying MLB. In fact, you're possibly bringing new fans into baseball. New fans who maybe never would have watched baseball, VTuber fans, going in and watching baseball now. So I think it is a good thing. And I think any baseball fan, in fact, a lot of baseball fans were like, thank you for doing this. You're bringing more eyes to baseball. You're bringing a different group of eyes to baseball. Everyone was respectful. You know, people enjoyed the game. People are fine with this. They're, it's like, what national pastime? He's over in the Yucatan Peninsula. Yeah, he's hiding in, in Mexico as far as I know. Does not realize that World War II has long been over and Japan and the U.S. are allies now, right? Has he never heard of Hideki In Irabu, Hideki Matsui, Ichida Suzuki, Shohei Otani? Yeah, a lot of the people, a lot of Japanese baseball stars are, have gone to MLB. It's great to national pastime. Ethan, anime isn't a niche anymore. Who's going to tell him that baseball is more popular in Japan than here in the U.S.? It is super popular in Japan. Holy crap. They, you, you think it's... It's like college football over there with, with the amount of insanity that people have for baseball over there. It's like how college football is over here. Who's going to tell him that say, if he messes with Gura, Cali fans will look like a love tap. Imagine being a grown man who gets so upset over, over cartoon characters. Exactly. This is just a dumb thing. And I think, like I said, it is rage bait primarily. Right is bread is cosplaying a certain ghost. Which ghost is this? We have Yuko Yure. And of course, it's like, I feel like I've seen a ghost. Perhaps you have. Cute, cute. Burr, bre, breb, burr, breb. I don't know what that is, but adorable. You're up Yuko Yure. As we all remember, Yuko Yure did graduate. Things were done. And um, things came out later on that were maybe not as savory as people thought. But everyone has uh, skeletons in their closet. Every single person does. I have. Everyone does. It sucks when they get all put out when you want to leave on a positive note, but it happens. That's so funny. You're a realist for doing that. I feel like I know the character from somewhere. So cute. So good and cute. And over here, considering even Pippa's commenting, who is Rai? Rai is Idol's former Yuko Yude. She's cosplaying her as her former self. Too soon? I feel like it's yet another digger to old fans, to be honest. So it's kind of like, I guess like the the the, Rush, the Rushia cosplay, the fact that Mika Neko is cosplaying Rushia. Uh, Rai is bred is cosplaying her old self. Idol ENs Yuko Yure. Um, she did graduate, like I said. She had uh, a moments where, you know, supposedly there was a lot of uh, bad-mouthing about the parasocialism of her fans and the fact that she was doing a lot of ASMRs and some sketchy ASMRs, that type of thing. 
Michael Katz spread toxoplasmosis caused this. Uh, she looks cute. Don't know what to say. Sure, it's not a career. She left. Reveal of Yuko's dirty laundry. Also heard her PL as well. Uh, take 50% men hair a moment, 58% in to spite her old fans even more. Some of y'all really need to lay off the armchair psychoanalysis. Uh, I guess something else happened here. Meeting fans IRL was such a fun experience, a moment that I will never forget. So this is also a very fun moment that she had. And it was my first time ever cosplaying in my life and it was so freaking fun. Uh, I got blackout drunk cosplaying too. Oh goodness gracious. More foods. So they, they went to a lot of places. From the fan perspective, getting a chance to meet you, your Oshi, is something you'll never forget either. Glad you had fun meetings with your fans. Yes, it's always great to meet with your fans. No matter what happened before, she has the right to be happy and meet with her fans. VTuber tips document work in progress, working on a huge document of all the tips I could possibly think of for VTubers looking to take their content a bit more seriously. Is there anything you are super lost about that you would like help with? Let me know and I'll address it in my doc. This is freaking amazing. This is amazing. Even for quote unquote seasoned VTubers, like some people call me a seasoned VTuber, there's a lot of things I'm very clueless about in the VTubing world, in the social media realm, in, you know, um, social media in general and announcing myself, advertising myself, that type of thing. So if you would like to submit something for the VTuber resource folder in this document, please send me a DM or reply. And his post is making a lot of numbers. So they actually made a Google doc, a drive Google drive where you can put stuff in there. We have already collected this collection created by a group of talented VTubers that are all listed in the comments. Credits go to uh, not Tsunami VT, all these people, uh, Sicaro VT, all these wonderful people. Neko Mickey VT, made some good headway tonight, should be ready by the end of this week or the beginning of next. I'll be touching on this in my doc um, about Lost About Is, how to post on Twitter, what should I post and what not to post. All your platforms are content. Don't think Twitter is like a throwaway vet platform. No, it's all content. You should all make it content. I'm really horrible at Twitter, to be honest with you. But yeah, it should all be content. Might be a death thing to ask, but honestly, navigating social media is hellish. It is. That's one thing that I'm not great at. And I'm glad she's actually doing something. Made this thread a while back. Maybe it can help. And, you know, they did. They actually put it in there. So they're, they're going to be doing this. It's going to be continuing. It's going to be a big doc. I'm glad that people are actually doing this. And let me actually show you what she put out there in the Google Drive. It's all the spreadsheets, all the example docs, all the panels, resources. She has a whole big Google Doc on this stuff. And I'm very glad that they're doing it. Playing both sides, so I always come out on top. This person is just a little bit of a meme, I guess, a little bit of a moment where, yes, you can't decide. Sometimes you can't decide if it's going to be Mint or it's going to be Pomu. Either way, you want both. And then you have Mataras Booba over there on the far left. You have Mataras Booba on the far left there. Yeah, uh, it can be a tough for, for a, a Phantom, for people who uh, love Mint Phantom or people who love Pomu Dachis. It's a tough one, but you can love both at the same time. Now, moving on to an organization, Hololive, as I've mentioned other times that I've mentioned Hololive, it's an organization that allows their staff, their VTubers, their talents to express themselves in the way that they want. For example, Rushia has gone, but guess what? Dancho's room, which, you know, right here you can see, she actually still has, Noel still has um, some things around and you know, some things are missing because right now they are four, of course. So you don't need to erase the past, but you need to write the future in a better way. So she still loves um, the, you know, person known as Rushia, but she does not feel that they need to stay there. I'm guessing this, let, let me not put words in her mouth. Let's see. It's not forgetting the past. It's just trying to move on. They become a group now of, of four. Yeah. That's very good to know. Exactly, there are people who don't know about Arushia. So, and it's a difficult thing to talk about. So, yeah, I, I respect that. So she's still like a friend and wants to see her happiness. And that's, those are good words. I'll leave it at that. She has much more to say, but I'll leave it at that. Yes, you don't have to get over it. 
you can still mourn the fact that Rushia is gone. You can still mourn the Rushia aspect of it, not the things behind the mask, but the actual VTuber itself and the happy memories you created, as they do. They know that she has issues behind the mask. She has issues in her own personal life, but that's not the friend that they're talking about. They're talking about the friend with good times, and of course, they're going to be there to support that friend. I like that. I like them being that way. Of course, you know, they're going to, as friends, you criticize people for what they've done, but you don't go and just throw it in their face the whole time because you want to actually be supportive of that friend. And I absolutely get that, and I support that as well. Really amazed that people can be this nice. After all, I read about Mika Neko, court cases and all, and things that she admitted. I don't think I can be friends with people like her. Maybe my ass is just a cynical due to past experience. It's not like she's a bad friend. She's a bad partner, sure. But I don't think she's, she's ever been mean to her friends. Sure hope the court case is settled amicably. I do hope so too, and I hope that Mika Neko keeps getting help she needs. Uh, if you think about it critically, you'll start to see a lot of similarities between what's alleged to have happened between Luca and Raziel and what's alleged to have happened between Mafu Mafu and Mikineko. Except Mafu Mafu leaked his side of events first, which is largely why Mikineko has gotten so much public backlash. Despite Mafu Mafu really not looking great from a PR standpoint, because he did the same stuff. They were both extremely toxic to each other. Both of them. They did not deserve to be in a relationship with each other because they were super toxic. They're both bad people in this case. But Mikineko got much worse because... The person who fires first is usually the one who gets the benefit of the doubt and usually gets um, sympathies, unfortunately. On a bit of a Hololive tangent, we're going to watch what uh, Matsuri said of why she joined Hololive instead of Niji Sanji. なんか言われるんだけど、昔も言われたんだけど、私ミジさんちが好きだ。ひまちゃんも好きだし、まゆずみさんも好きだし、で、星川も好きだし、結構ミジさんちさん。星川はすごく Oh yeah, because of the whole thing that's happened recently, of course. <笑>見てるよ。ま、今後も楽しみにしております。それで、あの、私よくね、すいません。え、赤スパ。許す。いやだ。その赤スパ。だ、ってスーパーで<笑><笑><笑> あの、オーディションはあ、じゃあホロライブ。ま、ね、まずホロライブ。それ but that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, she's a fan. She wants to stay a fan. She doesn't want to be inside because that sometimes can... This is just me talking, not her. Uh, sometimes it can destroy the the allure, destroy the um, the fantasy of it all, destroy the, the rosy-eyed, you know, type of thing that you look at for your favorite company. It can. Of course, she also likes Hololive, but she wanted to stay a fan of Nidhi Sanji. It's not such a bad thing, you know? I don't take this as a bad thing. It's just, you know, her wanting to stay a fan. Casually dodging a city-sized nuke. Uh, the clip, it's been three years since I watched this clip. Time flies and perception changes. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. But yeah, it's it's... It's a simple thing for her. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another VTuber Showcase, or Salvi's VTuber Corner, as I like to call it. Today, we are working with Shy Guy. They are a male VTuber who is full-time content creator who does not do any lewd content as of now. They are primarily YouTube and Twitch-oriented, with gaming being their primary focus. They try to stream when they can, and one thing that they do love about being a VTuber is that they can feel comfortable being themselves without being judged by others. They, of course, want to collab with other content creators, which is a great thing to have as a VTuber, I know myself. They are, are trying to make a new PNG for themselves and for their girlfriend to, I guess, also enjoy and, in, and join in with everything that they have to do. They want to collab with other VTubers. And like I said before, one big thing that they love is that they can create their own things 
which can be difficult, as I understand, but it can also be very, very fun and very rewarding, especially when you create a larger community, which is what I want to help them create in being this whole thing. Their lore is a human who had an accident making him into a voidling. They try my best to stream when I can solo with friends or the girlfriend, Luna the Gamer. As of now, I'm a PNG VTuber until I can find someone willing to make a model. If not, they'll do their best to make one. Usually play FPS games or play co-op games with the girlfriend. Getting to be a VTuber will at least let me be who I am and be comfortable, which is very, very wonderful. Let's take a look at some of their content here. This is their YouTube channel, which is primarily gaming, as you can see here. Let's see one of their pieces of content. seem to be doing more silent oriented content um, as of right now. Let's take a look at their Twitch because this one I feel will not get you 100% of an understanding of how they are. Let's take a look through this, through the Twitch, and let's see what's going on here. Uh, not again. Oh, damn it, the camera screwed up. Just, just <gasps> this ain't my first time top down tank rodeo. Kenzie, you gonna fix this or what? I'm trying, but no, I'm not don't push me off. Give me a second. There you go, some of the voice. That's what I want you guys to hear. I love meeting new people. Do I win? So they're getting their feet wet. They're getting their a little bit of understanding of how things are running. Things will grow and things will become better for them. I do appreciate you for being a part of this VTuber showcase once again, Shy Guy. I hope that you grow and you become what you want to be and you get to the level that you want to achieve. And I will do everything I can to help you achieve that. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time. I wish you the best of luck. All for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.